Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing part 3 of the Blender series. So, I've been getting heavy requests to do headlights and some like trim panels and stuff, so that's what I'm going to be covering in this video. A lot of people ask me to do the grill, headlight, and like this fog light area. So yeah, let's get right into that. So first, uh, what you're going to have to do probably is finish this part out, unless you're already ahead of me. So yeah, let's do that real quick. I'm just going to keep putting vertices down here and continue up this red piece like that see how that there's a line right there there's two things right there one line right here and then one line down there I'll do the sec I'll extrude the second line in just a second but it goes from here and it comes out and then goes like that and up right there so we have to go over here and make it go like that yeah it kind of like jerks out right there and there's like a a triangle right here hold up jerks out from there and then let's put a triangle like right here I'm like that, right? All right, let's go over here now, and I'm just gonna move that vertice down there. Grab this one. Also move that one right there. So for bumpers and stuff, sometimes your vertices are gonna be a little wonky. That's normal. You just have to come back and just like fix it. I'm gonna go like this. So here's a thing that I've learned: if these vertices are close to each other in the front view. Make sure you leave them the same, like, very similar amount of closeness on the side view. And if they're further out, like, make sure you leave them, like, further out, which will help you. See how it's like this? It's not, f there's an issue right here. You just have to come back and fix it afterwards because when you just move something from the right side, it's not always going to be accurate. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. Don't get frustrated if it doesn't work out the first time. And right here to that. Yep. I think I'm trying to figure out how that line is. Hold on. Okay, we get one line that goes like that, and that's the one that pokes out. And then there's just like a triangle here. I'll try to draw it out. I don't know if you guys can see, but like there's a red line right here, and then it creates a triangle right here. I'm trying to figure out how to do that part. There we go. We got it. I, that's accurate I think yep that's accurate I crossed them off for me and just go like that I did that line right there I I move my camera around like this to see some issues with it and sometimes I go like this and then you can see if you need to add more vertices for more curvature just you just have to move your camera around like that and a lot I heard some of you guys are struggling with this if you guys are struggling just keep trying and if it doesn't look good the first time don't give up because eventually you'll be able to do this when I first started I I wasn't doing a really good job I was like it was, it was pretty bad so I like gave up for a month or two and then I came back into it but like I didn't do anything during it so if you guys don't like it or something keep trying don't give up like how I did you'll eventually learn and you'll get better at it you're not gonna, it's not like you're not gonna hit a home run on your first time like playing baseball or something but like you just have to keep trying you have to practice to become better you're not gonna be the best the first time because that's not how life works I'm just gonna move that over there now we're gonna be doing the inside piece right here we're gonna go from that and I'm gonna be trying to fill this part in right here it's kind of like the paint piece around it the red paint whoops that's the wrong word to see so I've been listening and so one of the viewers suggested that one of you guys suggested that I shouldn't put music in the background, which yeah, okay, I won't put music in the background, but like, I feel like it kind of gets boring. What, what, what can I do? Like recommend me some things because I don't know if you guys are getting bored, but I feel like it's kind of like a boring type of content, but I guess that's like what like tutorials are. They're not supposed to be like not boring, but I mean you. I've learned this, so it might sound boring to myself when rewatching the video, but like, you guys, are, it may, might not be boring. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Sometimes blueprints are inaccurate. Like, right here, I'm having to go off the blueprint. Because if I don't go off the blueprint, it creates a really weird curve. And I want, like, something. Because it's like that right there. Try to fix that. Make it look pretty realistic. Curve gets smaller right there. Looks about right. No, it's not right. I need to move this a little bit more. There we go. 
And then I'm just going to go in here and fill it in. And then if you select two vertices like that and hit F, 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 it'll keep doing that. Oh, oops, I forgot to turn on my uh, shortcut view. Let's try that. There you go. Now you can see everything down there. And if you need to smoothen everything out, what you need to do is select everything, Shift N to fix your normals because sometimes your normals aren't correct. And then you go here and then go to select or mesh and then shading and then smooth faces. I did right click and I changed the shortcut to a B for me. That works really well. So I just hit B right there and boom, shortcut. All right, let's look here. Looks like there's something going on here. Let me move that in a little bit. There you go. And then let's move that like that. Oh, let's look at the picture real quick. Okay, so it looks like this is like this actually this line actually starts over here. So I'm gonna delete those faces and then I'm gonna curve it right here and I'm gonna start it from right there. And this is like I think something like that. No, this is all one face right here, yep. Alright, and then it alright, interesting, that's some cool design I guess all right so now we're gonna be doing this like this plastic molding right here so what I'm going to do for that first is put a vertice right here and since it's flat like that this curves in a little bit I'm gonna control R left click and then take this red arrow and move it a little bit there you go and now I'm just gonna inspect everything to make sure there's some decent curvature so right there I need to fix so when I extrude it I don't have to go and fix each and every vertice all right, looks good enough. Make sure everything's sharp by Control E and then selecting all the vertices. Some of them won't get selected. Marking them sharp and E and then S, which will extrude and then scale. And bring it in how much? That looks fairly correct. And then I'm gonna bring it out like, yeah, about that much. And if you, I don't know if you noticed this here, but I think this part comes out more than like the left side. See? Yeah, here's a good angle. That it, it shrinks a little bit, so what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to rotate it like that just a little bit. It won't be perfect, and if you want it to be perfect, you can move each and every vertice, but sometimes that'll cause issues. Good enough. And then you guys probably noticed that I forgot to do here. Hold on, we need to fix that. You scale it out, I think. No, just scale it in once. And I'll do that. Yeah, there you go. Then now we get that border going on there. And then this is gonna be inaccurate a little bit, but it's whatever. Actually, you know, it's pretty accurate actually. And scale one more time, just a little bit inside, and then bring it in like that. And obviously, you want to select all of it by what I do is I hold Control and right click, which will select like that, and then Shift Control right click, which will basically just do that. Or no, that's not Shift Control. That's Shift Alt. My bad. So hold shift and alt right click, shift alt right click, shift alt right click, and then shift alt right click. There we go, boom. And then here's another one actually, if you guys didn't know this. If you select a vertice and you want to like go all the way down this bevel, and right click and hold or hold control and right click. It'll like find the shortest path or something and it'll take you to it, which is a cool tip if you guys didn't know. And now, oops, whoa. I have a lot of materials here for some reason by accident, I don't know why. So I'm just gonna remove some of these. Remove. Actually, no, I'll just create a new one. But that's weird. Gray or blackish. There we go, that's good enough. Oops, I forgot to select one right here. And assign it, and there we go, we got the plastic thing. And if you if you want to make it darker, sometimes Blender won't let you make it any darker. Just up your metallic if you want to like really dark but I'm good with what it's at right now alright so now let's work on this fog light piece right here so what I'm gonna do is get a vertice and I'm gonna, I'm gonna first fill it in then I'll do the fog light so let's do this cutout right here so it's just like a little curve that looks like a lot of vertices so I'm gonna reduce it first I like to just get like a base curve in I'll remove a couple by merging them at center. I 
power move this dissolver to see. And dissolve. It looks about right. And then we'll just rotate it. And I'll put it right into place. Whoa, right here we have some issues. Let's fix that. Clean that out a little bit. Alright, that looks about right. So now, just confirm that. No, I need to bring this out. Select it, move it outwards, and then select it and move it a little bit inwards. Just to like follow the curvature. There you go. Okay, that's good. Now, what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to bevel this by control shift B, which is vertex bevel. So it'll, yeah, it'll do that. It looks like there's going to be like a panel gap here and then probably one right here. So let's, let's work on that piece. So I'm, I'm going to slide that vertice by G twice and I'm going to bring it up and then I'm going to control R and insert one right here and F to make a line and then add three loop cuts because one for that one for the middle and then one for over here and then three loop cups over here. Actually, it's not moved in all the way. I need to move this in more, I think. And then I'll move that out a little bit. Yeah, it looks close enough. And then move that in. There we go. And then I'm just gonna fill this in. It might, it's not going to have the best topology, but I'm going to show you guys how in a, probably maybe in this video or a different video, how to fix shit errors. It's a neat way called data transfer. And I'll show you guys how to use that in a little bit. Let's go through here and let's fill it in. However, It's a flat area, so your topology doesn't really matter. Because when you do end gone and stuff in a flat area, your shading is just gonna be flat. <laughs> That's the best way to say it. There's no difference. And then sometimes you're gonna need to go back and move some vertices to fix it. All right, and now let's let's do the inside part. So I'm gonna select this E and S. And just bring it in and F to fill it in because the vents closed on this side. On the other side, it might be open. Let's check. Yeah, the side is open. So if you were to do that at the end, at the end when you're done with making this car, or actually what you can do now is uh, select it and then where is the mirror modifier? I did click on this button right here. Go to the mirror modifier. Apply. I separated it by hitting P and then by selection. And this should just like delete one side. And then you can see through it. But yeah. I'm not going to do that. Because I'm not going to make like an engine bay or anything. At least I don't have plans to. I might later. But yeah. Alright. So now I'm going to. Let's see. how. This, oops. Let's see this area right here. So yeah. It goes like that. I'm going to fill the rest of this in. I'm just going to get a vertice right there and fill it in. Make sure this is sharp. I'm going to need a knife tool, which is K, and then I'm going to line out the vertice and just go straight up. And then take this and bring that out like that. Perfect. And go up here, fill that in. It looks really bad right now, but don't worry about it. We can fix that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this area an end gone. Yeah, you'll see why I do that in a second. Make that an end gone right there. And then, okay, now here's some magic. I'm going to shift S cursor to world origin because I'm going to insert a circle. Yep, there's a circle. And let's not, let's make it like, 
12 vertices because that's going to be enough for the fog light. And then go in here and line it up. Make sure you don't conflict with any of these outside vertices. And then go in to this car and select both of them. Space or er, tab into them, select everything, space, knife, project. Did that work? No, that didn't work. Okay, I did it backwards. Select the circle first, then tab into the car, then knife project. Oops, no, you didn't mean the correct view. There we go. Now it worked. I was in the this view, so it knife projected over there, which is not what I wanted. So yeah, I did that and kind of looks a little messy, but like, well, you can fix that. Yeah, we're gonna have to rotate it. Actually, that was a bad idea. Let's not do that. I have a better idea. Let's take this thing, rotate it. Okay, let's do it manually. Probably just gonna work the best right here. And then merge it together, delete these unneeded ones, scale it a little bit because when you rotate this, this circle gets disorientated. Alright, and then just fill it all in. F and then F. F F That's not right. Okay. So what happened here is the blueprints kind of like off, I think. So I'm just going to do it my own way. Bring it out like that. I'm just bringing it out further so it lessens the shading impact because it's really close to the outside in real life. Circle's not going to be perfect. If if you you can spend more time and make yours perfect, but I'm just going to leave mine like that. And then I'm going to select it and scale it like that and bring it out. Then scale it again and then bring it in. Looking pretty good so far, except it's a little disorientated, but you can easily just go in and fix it by just moving each vertice like that. Looking decent. All right. I'm going to make a panel gap right here, actually, while we're at it. Because, yeah, it's a separate panel. So what you do for panel gaps is, let me show you that. Select everything you want. Control B, and then scroll up to make one segment. Select the inside segment by Alt, and right click it. Mark it sharp. Oops. Make sure you're not selecting these. And then mark it sharp, and then go to the side view, and then just bring that in tiny bit to so create like an indentation and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bevel this over here by control B and that's well that's gonna create a bunch of shading thingies just fix that by marking those as sharp boom I have a shading in here let's see if I let's see if, if I can fix that I'll put a vertice oops I'll put a vertice right here and I'm going to bring that up by the knife tool and I'm going to, oops, I didn't touch those correctly. So merge it at last and select this to make two triangles, make a square. So select the tri two triangles and alt J and then we're good. And raise this a little bit to follow the curvature of the fog light. Looking pretty good. All right, time to do like the red paint thing. Looks like, all right. It's a vertice, bring it down like that, and then bring it down. And 
And let's just line this up real quick. Actually, I'm not going to do the whole thing at once. Actually, no. You know what? I'll just do that. <laughs> Oops. All right. Just go like that. What I was going to, what I was trying to say is I'm just going to do the top piece and extrude it down, but that might not work as well. So I should do it this way because there's not that many vertices. Go like that. All right, so now I'm going to fill this in. It's not going to look right, obviously. But watch this. Oops, I need to add a vertice up there. I'm trying to make it touch as close as I can. All right, now go like that. Oops, I need to mark that sharp. Alt J everything, actually. And then I'm going to mark this. And then bring it out. Because that's how it is. And then this is a beveled. Actually, what is, how is this going to look? Paint color it. Where's my paint? I got a new paint color somewhere. There we go. Oh, that's that's backwards. See, there you go. Like that, and let's select around it. And I'm just gonna scale it, make it bring it back. Boom. Looks like to be a shading error up here. Fix it by marking it all sharp. Awesome. Okay. So there's the red thing. It needs to come out further more though. So let's fix that. That looks about right. And now let's do this part in here. So I'm going to make the fog light by extruding in by that much. It looks about right. And then scale in and then move it to the center. So I'm going to create like a circle. Actually, no, that's not, I have a better idea. We're going to try grid filling, selecting the whole thing and then doing space grid fill. And then it brings up this. Boom. And then what we're going to do is select all these pieces inside of it by hitting 3 on your keyboard. At the top of your left of your keyboard, like, not the numpad or whatever. And then it'll bring a face select. If you had two, that's edge select and one is vertice select. And then we'll go here and then make a new material and make it white. Fog light. And emission, if you wanted. But I'm good. Hold on, I'm going to readjust these vertices. I don't like how they're looking. I'm going to make it match correctly. Looks better. Why is it black? Okay. Um. Oh no, it goes in more. That's why it looks bad. And it's like it moves over. Okay. Oh, I see what they did there. They made it straight inside. 
Because they don't want the, ang the fog light angling left. I'm just going to rotate it like that. And go in. And then scale it inwards. Good. All right, so now let's start on the headlights. So what I'm gonna do is first is I'm gonna look at this picture right here, and and I'm gonna zoom in right here and look at this part. See, there's a vertice right here, or there's a line, sharp line. I'm gonna be working on that first. And so I'm gonna get this piece right here, slide up, and E, extrude it all down through this line. And continue over here. And right above the Honda logo. And then I'm going to go to the top view. Select all of these that I just pulled out. And go like there. And bring it down again. Just line it everything up. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, it would be greatly appreciated if you guys would subscribe or hit the like button because most of the people that watch my videos, according to my analytics, are unsubscribed. So, yeah. Boom. Just make sure the curvature is correct. It looks pretty good, except right here. Boom. Okay, then what I'm going to do next is fill this part in. There's like a vent up here. Make sure when you do that, align as many vertices as you can. Sometimes, if you have to make a curve, you have to skip it. But you can just come back and add one like that. Perfect. And then, obviously, you might want to align this up. Because, why not? Go like that. It's like a vent, right? Yeah, it's a vent right there. And it's like, like that far. Perfect. Fill that in. It's going to be gloss like shiny. And then it looks like vertice. Like, I'm just going to make a vertice go like that. And there. And then control R. Just to bring it up a little bit for some curviness. And fill it in. End gone right there. It's fine. A lot of people don't like using end gones, but end gones are okay, in my opinion, if. The shading stays okay. I'd rather care more about the shading and triangle count more than just like making a hundred vertices. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it makes sense to me. Grid fill. Okay, so here's a cool thing. I don't know if I do uh, tell you guys this. I might have on the door, but if you select three vertices on one side and three vertices on one side, a little grid fill as long as they have the same amount of vertices. And let's go here. Select all of this. And let's pick a new material and let's call it like glassy plastic or something like that make it dark and then we're gonna what we're gonna do is add a clear coat to it so it's glossy now and then add some metallic so it's darker perfect and it looks like we're gonna have to extrude that down a little bit from right here take this and I'm gonna sharpen it same thing right here by control selecting it yeah, let's make another vertice. Boom. And make sure you guys align stuff from more than one view. Because sometimes views, it's going to look a little weird if you just do it from one view. And don't go double check it like that. There we go. Boom. Alright, now it looks like, this is gonna, yeah, you need to go in a little bit here. 
I'm going to put two vertices here because that's going to be a bevel later on. Same thing with here. So this, you can put more vertices where bevels are in my opinion. Go like that. And it like joins into right here. And go over here and I'm going to bring that in a lot. Move that over. And I'm going to complete this like kind of like by hand over here, this curve. How's that curve? Okay, so it's like goes out right here and then it curves back in. I'm gonna I might go off the little bit a little bit off the blueprint, but it's fine. Looks good to me. Alright, so with this there's gonna be vertices coming out, it's gonna go all the way to here. I think. Yeah, something like that. Okay. So take that vertice, continue all the way over here, and it joins in from another one from down here. Go like that, keep moving him down. I'm gonna merge those actually. I'm gonna merge all the ones I'm gonna bevel because I'll I can bevel them and I'll do it by itself. Go here and then control. That's just weird. Okay, that's correct. Wait, I don't know why I see that. Good fill it again. See if this works. It might not work here. It did. Looking good. Make sure it's on the correct normal. Okay, good. And. Looks like they, yeah, they did do that. Okay. So what they did here was they did this and it went in like that. So that's how it lines up right there. That's cool. I'm gonna put a vertice through here. Where's that last one I missed? To keep some. No, I mean, put that away. Alright, I'll leave it like that. That's good enough. And let's go here and I'm going to make that go in a little bit more. Scale it and then scale by the Y axis or Z axis to bring it in like that and just fix that. There you go. And then for the inside, what I do is I select like a material that I want and I'm going to like just make a material for it. So go here and oops that's sub that's subsurface color that's not the correct one. And then start it as black and then just make the metallic darker. Like that. This is definitely one of the most interesting grills I've made. 
So yeah. All right, this is not correct right here. I need to. So what happens here is this actually like goes into that. So I'm gonna do this E and then Z and go like that. And then from here is where I can start connecting stuff, which makes sense. Boom. Scale that a little bit, or uh, edge slide that a little bit, and then I can do a grid fill here because it's the same amount of vertices on each side. And make sure when you do a grid fill, you have the material you want selected because I did not. And then assign everything, and yeah, that's how it's looking so far. And then I'm just going to go over here and select this. Scale it in a little bit, scale it down, and fill it in. And make it a color I want it. Looking good so far. Looking like a Civic. Alright, so now I'm going to go back and bevel this line, this line, and this line. So the, li the one that I need to bevel is this one, this one, or actually I'm going to use edge slide. And I'm going to do bevels by two. Actually, I lied. I'm going to do bevels by three. Because sometimes two bevels don't look good. Alright, I'm going to need to fix it here. At last, and at last. Put a sharp line in there. Actually, no sharp line inside there. Looking good so far. Not bad. So there's some shading errors, but it's not going to be that noticeable. So I'm just going to leave him. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna finish this headlight and this is gonna be the this is gonna be the end of this video. This video's thirty eight minutes long so far. I'm gonna aim for like maybe like fifty minutes. So yeah, let's look at this picture right here. DRL. So always do DRLs first. So scale it I'm gonna scale it in a little bit and put it like that. So I can make a housing for it. And select what I need by face select, and I just control hold, hold alt and do it. And let's make a headlight color plastic ish. All right, so now what you're gonna do is shift the uh, random vertice somewhere here on the one of the corners and just work your way down. And then after you do the top of it, just go here and line them up. Like that. Alright, select this and scale it a little bit, bring it like that. Make sure the corners do first. It's about a little bit less thicker than that. Not that much. This one might need to be adjusted inwards. Let's 
smoothing it out and yeah so it's like encompassed around something so what you're gonna do is select this whole thing hit or make it into the headlight material first then hit I which is gonna like inset it a little bit there you go yeah like that and that's gonna be our DRL material there's just gonna be some white and then we're just gonna scale it in just a tiny bit like E and Y and then add an emission to it and boom that's a DRL right there looks like a DRL looks a little thick hold on let's look at this picture yeah it's a little thick so I'm gonna reduce the thickness down there this blueprint's a little inaccurate but it's fine oh it's not normals what is going on oh yeah, yeah okay so these when you when you inset it sometimes your sharpness doesn't carry in corners which is no bueno all right looks about right to me you can if you guys don't find it correct you can come and fix it always in your own cars okay so here's a better idea I'm gonna delete this headlight housing and I'm gonna connect this yeah it's, that's gonna be good just connect it to the outside I'll explain why I did that in a second Alright, so why I did that is because this part inside it's going to be easier to fill in. Let's do this turn signal piece thing. Gonna knife tool over to see. Right there. And it goes like down here. And it like fades in over here. And curvature going on here, go all the way to the out like that. That looks good enough. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select all these vertices for it and then after that E and then spring it back and then scale scale it a little bit actually I'm going to have to do scaling manually And then we're just going to fill it in. F, 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 F. And make it end gone right there. And whoa. Some shading things. Alright. Nice. So this outside plastic part is going to be the headlight housing material. And the inside part is going to be whatever it needs to be. Let's see. Just make it like white for now. Gray. Ish, whatever. Alright, and then. The vertices, I need to fix that. Because sometimes when you have beveled vertices, it makes it weird. So that's the turn signal area up there. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is since everything is filled out, I can do that. Scale it in a little bit. Then extrude it that much.
Um, censure, censure. Oh, this material isn't correct, so I'm going to just fix it. Alright, there we go. So we have this going so far. Uh, I'll probably texture these in this episode or maybe later on. So, alright, we have some vertices like that. So what we're going to need to do is just make them a line up like that. And then F. And then we're going to definitely need to make more. So just do that. And then knife tool some more vertices. Okay, oops. Are you my head? K and then bring it down like that. And then F and line them up by edge sliding them. Like that. Edge slide that a little bit and like that. Don't worry about these end gone though, they're just not gonna affect anything too much. Boom. And now go to these. All right, so guys, I made a little bit of an oopsie here. Um, I'm gonna have to go back real quick, and I'm gonna have to select these. When I'm gonna, I'm gonna control shift bevel them, cause I forgot they're gonna need two, and I didn't make two. Cause then I can't scale it correctly. So yeah, oops, sorry about that. Gonna go like that, and then control shift B, we create small bevels like that. Perfect. And now we just go there and select these two and fill them in. Like that. It's not too difficult. Uh, minor setback. Make sure you select the two on the edges because there's going to be three there. Otherwise you'll have some issues. All right, I'm going to cut as soon as I fill this up because it's kind of boring. All right, I'm back, guys. So I'm just going to control R. Oops, control R. Leave a vertice right there. Control left click and right click. Left, right, left, right. Control R, left, right. That. And then I'm going to select all this. Like that. And then control shift, control B. Like that. All right. So now what we're going to do is make sure all of these are sharp. Perfect. And now select all these individual squares. And then go to individual orange and then E and then S. No, that's not working. Okay, we, we're going to have to do them all separately. Because it's not technically individual. We have to skip one and do like that. I think it should work. E and then S like that. And then bring it in. And now let's do the one that I skipped. And same thing, E and then S like that. Okay, 
All right, now what we're gonna do is go in here and select the bottom and F. I could put some more detail into this, but I'm not going to because for the video's sake, because it's gonna take a lot longer. Select all this. And I don't wanna like confuse you guys because if I do if I make the video too complex, it's gonna be kinda hard. I'm gonna try to make it a little bit more on the easier side and just help you guys out. Cause it gets confusing when you start doing a bunch of like difficult stuff. Alright, boom. That's a pretty simple headlight design too. So now what we're going to do is select all of this somehow. Alright, this is going to be a problem. Go here real quick, select everything. Alright, it's like a chrome kind of thing in here. So, go here. Make it like a white like that and make it a little darker. I'm like that. Oh yeah, okay, I need to fill these metal parts in. They're missing stuff. So let, make sure you like that, and then just hit F a couple times. And then just mark the edges sharp. Mark it sharp, and mark it sharp. Mark it sharp, hit it. There you go. I'm gonna All right, guys, we're back. do this real quick. All right, so now I just, I just filled that in. I'm gonna select these, and I'm gonna make in the headlight material. is gonna be like a little bit like white almost like that and then let's go in here and there's some more detail in these I'm gonna like out here I have an idea I'll do this for each of them and gone right here Boom, there we go, there we go. So what I did was I made it like tiled a little bit. Oops, I forgot to bring this one back. So it looks a lot more realistic -er. That's a word, sure. And then just mark it all sharp by selecting it. There we go. Looking good so far. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if you're making it so long. It's like an hour long. Oh my gosh. Okay. If you guys enjoyed it, please uh, drop a like because I 
spent a lot of time on this video and please subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out bye hey guys one more thing um right before this video ends uh i did a one minor adjustment i made the headlight color a little bit not dark i made it like more wider because it's not black in the actual picture so yeah it's like that so yeah you can just you can make you guys can mess with the roughness and stuff but i'm gonna leave it like right right like that yep thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one